remember the bookmarks that I've printed on an A3? They arrived and they look so nice. Look, it's perfect. It turned out perfect. The back matches the front and the paper. It's so thick and nice. Let's cut them up to see how they look. Here they are all cut. It's still a lot of work, but way less than the laminate them all and do that all the kind of things. This is the ones that I made here in the studio. The paper is a lot thinner, as you can see. Um, I actually like the colors more um, of the ones that I print here in the studio. You can see, especially the reds, have a lot more depth. So much faster this way and a lot easier. Uh, cutting them off in the big guillotine, they get a little bit thinner than the ones that I make myself that cut on the round cutter thing but yeah these are the old ones and these are the new ones like some of the colors pop a little bit more especially like this pink on the background you can see a lot better in here as well as the T1 like the pink on the background in here was a little bit too light but yeah I'm quite happy with it it, it will make the process a lot a lot faster um, I actually really like them with the square corners I think I'm going to add that option yeah let me know what do you think and now the best part is that I can make like washi samples with the scraps of paper because since it's laminated the um, the washi tape won't glue to the paper and rip off the paper so you can use it all so I'm also going to add some washi samples to the shop already asked on Instagram and you guys really like the idea double yay because it works for two things so yay <laughs> Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome back to another studio vlog. As you've seen from previous footage, the bookmarks arrived and they turned out so, so nice. The paper is super thick and super smooth and nice. It worked, <laughs> which I'm super happy about. I already had them on my shop as well as the washies that I showed you before. Let me take the glasses because it's a lot of reflection. I look weird without glasses now. It's weird, isn't it? And I'll be going on vacation on August, but I would like to uh, get some products already ordered, mostly washi tapes because they take a long time for like production and shipping and all that kind of things. So I would like to get those done. So that's what we are going to do on this video. We are going to do some no new washi designs and I'll make a mini tutorial for you guys to show you how I did it. It's not like a big of a deal, it's quite a simple process, but I know if it's the first time and it's an expensive product and a big investment, you would like to see more or less how to do it most correct way so you won't have any hiccups or yeah, just surprises. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So yeah, let's get going. I'm going to already have some ideas that what I want to do. Most of the illustrations are already done, but I would like to introduce them on the shop. Um, and I also want to start thinking about a Halloween collection. I asked on Instagram and you guys like the idea, so I'm going to do a Halloween um, design. So yeah, let's get into it and let's sketch.
Okay, this is the final result for the sketchbook um, sketches that I did. So I did some pumpkins, um, ghosts, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the ghost boy or the little ghosts. I think I'm going to go with this ones because they look more well together with the whole theme. Then I did some cute spiders and I never thought I would be able to do cute spiders. Bats, which were super super hard, but I really like this one and this one. Some candy and then I also did some little monsters, but I feel like this could be just an entire thing on their own. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to fill and do digitally as many illustrations as I can. I still haven't did like any witchy themes um, because I felt like from the answers that I have on Instagram that people, some people really enjoyed the Halloween theme things and then some people don't like like the ghost and all the kind of things. So I think I'm going to do one more Halloween themed um, kind of washy and then um, more witchy theme so it'll go um, with for more people so yeah that's the plan it's already quite late it's already 7 p.m. so I'm going to go home and rest and I'm going to take the iPad with me and I'll try to make as much illustrations as I can on the sofa while watching like a movie or something like that so yeah I'll talk to you guys tomorrow tomorrow I'm going to mount the washi tapes and show you everything I just told my patrons for the first time the ones that I would like to do um, it will be such a big investment but I think it will be worth it and I'll try to make also slimmer washi tapes which is super super excited but I'll mount everything with you tomorrow because I'll have to send it super super soon to my manufacturers so they will be here um, in the beginning of uh, September or the end of August so yeah we'll do that tomorrow and I'll insert the time lapse of these illustrations that I'll be doing right now see ya now next week. Last week I didn't end up filming anything more because I had some sorts of allergies and I couldn't stop itching like my whole body. I still am a little itchy but I'm taking some medication to help me out with that. The doctor told me that it was probably some food allergy but I didn't eat anything different so yeah, I have no idea what caused it, but yeah, <laughs> I wasn't able to work last Friday, so I didn't end up filming, but I did the illustrations, as you saw before, from the time lapse. So yeah, I think now it's time to put everything on the computer, and I'll show you how I mount and send the washi tapes to my manufacturer. It depends on the manufacturer, but you can also, you can ask them for a template or something like that so you can know more or less what is the bleed. But I'll explain everything once we are on the computer so you can see it at the same time as I am explaining it. Uh, a lot of people ask me how they can find a manufacturer and the easiest way is to go to Alibaba. You can search like washi tapes and then a lot of manufacturers will appear in there and you can see by the ratings um, and all that kind of thing just be careful to choose one person that it's already in business for a few years now and probably has a lot of reviews and a high score on Alibaba so you'll be more secure but it's super easy to find washi tapes manufacturers and most of them are safe and okay uh, it will be super easy don't worry about that yeah, let's go on the computer and I'll show you how I mount the washi tapes 
Okay, so here we are on the computer and this is the template that I talked about. This was sent to me by my manufacturer and let me explain a little bit. This is where you place your, your washi file and then it explains here the inner bleed the it's the green one then you have the blue one that it's the finished product with that is the 1.5 millimeters in this case you can do larger or smaller washi tapes the ones that i've been doing as 1.5 uh, 15 millimeters um, so this is where the blue line it's where the product will finish and then you have the outer bleed basically you'll have to be careful with the inner bleed because that's where you should be placing your illustrations or the important things that you don't want to be cut inside the inner bleed this is basically um, a safe thing so that the washi when it's cut it it's like um, a little bit out of place the illustrations don't be cut uh, like the important ones what i normally do it's i place the background until the, um, the outer bleed and i place the major like important illustrations within the inner bleed so it don't it doesn't get cut so this is how i mounted the um, the fairies washi as you can see all the major illustrations like the important ones are inside the um, inner bleed that it's the green line and then I added the pattern and all the kind of things until the outer bleed so that I will be safe on this file I have all the layers over here and the file that I sent it to my manufacturer was a different one and the layers are only separated on the background uh, color and the illustrations so I will be a little bit more safe sending it to the manufacturer so they can't change change it a lot even though it's super hard but at least it's a safer measure <laughs> probably but yeah i'm going to get going on mounting the new washies i'm going to do the halloween one first and i'll show you a little bit of the process because it's easier when i'm mounting to explain as i go so yeah let's start mounting it Okay, so I already placed all the illustrations how I want them and I like them to have like the same distance between them so what I usually do is I create a rectangle and I just go over them and I place them accordingly to the rectangle so they have more or less the same space between them and this also helps me see how they will repeat so basically I just place the guideline over here so they will end up in here and then I place the rectangular on the beginning of the washi tape so that when I repeat the pattern the size that I have here will be the same as between all the other characters so they'll be repeated equally and yeah that's how I do it I'm not sure if there's an easier way but this is how I did it and it worked fine <laughs> So now I'm just going to start adding like the background details and stuff like that. I already created like this sort of, of sticker sheet to do later to release the collection and I'm going to use the same details that I've put on the back like the little candies and little stars. So yeah, let's do that now.
here is the result and let me show you what I did just to make sure the pattern was okay. So I basically uh, saved this as a PNG. Then over here I created these rectangulars with 1.5 centimeters. That is the size of the full tape. And I placed them like this just to make sure how everything would look inside of that size. I still need to do like maybe one thing here just to make it'll look like it's hanging on a um, spider web or something like that but yeah this is how it works and then I repeated the pattern just to see how it looks and I already noticed that over here like this uh, candy thing it's too close to the the bat so I'm going to put it a little bit smaller so I'm going to make that change but yeah this is how it looks I'm not sure which color I like the most I think it's between the pink and the blue because they pop a little bit more but I think I'm just going to add this on patreon and let them decide because I normally can't decide on colors or anything like that but the blue one makes a little bit more sense because of the sticker sheet but I can always change the color of the sticker sheet so this is it so far which color do you like the best <laughs> let me know in the comments but yeah this one is done and i'm going to get going on doing the change the of the little candy thing so it won't be too close to the bat and then we are going to do the other designs so yeah <laughs> let's go These are the results for the tapes. So this is the Halloween one. I did one planet one. I'm not sure if I'm still going to do it or not. I'm not sure if I like it. Um, then I did the snail ones and I thought I could do like a pattern one, one of those slim washi tapes and the strawberry ones. So let's do a test print and see how they look. This is the result of the test print. <laughs> Please don't mind the bad gluing work that I did there. <laughs> uh, this is just normal paper, so the colors are not um, exactly like the finished ones, but I think they look super, super nice. I think these ones, I was supposed to be doing them. This is 0 0.5 um, centimeters, so five millimeters, but I think it's too thin so i'm going to try to see if it can be like 0 0.7 or something like that so yeah but like the patterns are super nice um i still have to do add like the little um spider web over here and already did some changes on this one as well so it has a flower in the middle of here so it doesn't look so so plain but yeah i'm quite happy with them i'm going to send out these files to my manufacturer just to ask for pricing and all that kind of things i still want to do the witchy theme ones but i'm going to do that off camera or otherwise this video will be super super long so the final result it always helps to do a test print um, because you can see like if the details are okay where the illustration ends and all that kind of thing just to see 
how it works and now I know that this is way too thin for me and I wouldn't know that if I didn't do a test print. Yeah, what do you think of these washies? After this part is done, basically now I just need to take care of the packaging. Um, it really depends on your manufacturers, but basically you can choose from a lot of different packaging. I go with shrink plastic wrap and a sticker, but you can also choose without any plastic. You can choose boxes, you can choose like a variety of things. You can just ask for pricing and what options your manufacturer have. But let me show you how I do mine. So you probably already saw these washes if you follow my channel I have two more designs but <laughs> this is enough to show you so basically they come like this I do the sticker I do a rounded design like this I just put the um, the title the illustration that some of the illustrations that are related to the washi tape then the name and my logo and I add some details um, so you can see and it has a little bit more interest and the shrink plastic option that that I was talking it's like this this comes with a film that you just peel off and it comes off the sticker um, as well and these were already mounted from um, by my manufacturer so I already received the washies like this uh, you can also do the stickers yourself it was just the price it's not worth it to do that myself and have that extra work so I they are sent out to me like this and this is the file that I send out um, you can send out the file in every size that you want. I send out, I think it was 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. And basically it goes from that, this, as you can see over here. You can do like one sticker for all the designs if you want and if you don't want to have the extra work for each uh, tape, but I like to have them like this with a different packaging for each design. So it basically, you can choose whatever you want and do what's best for yourself and for your brand and what you feel more comfortable with. And that is it for how I do my washies. I think it's quite a simple process, but maybe if you're not used to work with like bleeds or Photoshop or stuff like that, um, it can be a little bit tricky just to see how you it can be done. So I hope this mini studio vlog kind of tutorial <laughs> helped. Um, I advise you to do the, the mounting of the washi tapes on Photoshop just for one reason. If you are thinking about using Procreate, normally when you resize um, illustrations on Procreate, they lose a lot of quality. So just just take that in consideration. That's why I do the mounting and like the final details on Photoshop. Um, that's basically the only reason because Procreate um, pixelates the images a lot when you resize them or change like sizing and stuff like that. So yeah, that's why I use this kind of programs. Um, so I don't have to worry about the images not have enough quality. But yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer them. And I always love to answer your lovely, lovely comments. So yeah, if you are new here on my channel, please consider subscribing. It will really mean a lot and it will help this channel grow and thrive. So yeah. Yeah, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. And yeah, I hope this helped and I'll see you guys very, very soon for another video. Bye! Bye!